Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is salts. First of all, we will try to understand that what are salts. A salt is a compound formed from an acid by the replacement of the hydrogen in the acid by a metal. We will understand more about salts in detail. Let us understand with the help of an example. Hydrochloric acid is HCl. Now, if we replace the hydrogen of this acid by a metal atom, say sodium atom, then we will get a salt, NaCl. This is called sodium chloride. It is a salt. This is the best known salt and it is the same salt that we use in the kitchen, known as common salt. Salts are formed when acids react with bases. In a way, we can say that a salt has two parents, an acid and a base. So, the name of a salt consists of two parts. The first part of the name of salt is derived from the name of the base. And the second part of the name of the salt comes from the name of the acid. For example, the name of a salt, sodium chloride, sodium comes from sodium hydroxide, which is a base. And chloride comes from hydrochloric acid, which is acid. Students, let us now discuss about the properties of salts. Salts are mostly solids. They have a high melting and boiling point. They are usually soluble in water. Just like acids and bases, the solutions of salts in water conduct electricity. Salt solutions conduct electricity due to the presence of ions in them. Salts are ionic compounds. Every salt consists of a positively charged cation and a negatively charged anion. For example, a salt NaCl has Na plus cation and Cl minus anion. Now, let us discuss about the different families of salts. The salts having the same positive ion or the same negative ion are said to belong to a family. For example, sodium chloride and sodium sulfate both belong to the same family of salts called sodium salts. Why? Because they both contain same positively charged ions, sodium ions, Na+. Similarly, sodium chloride and potassium chloride belong to the same family because they have same negatively charged ion, that is, Cl minus ions. Some of the important families of salt are sodium salts, calcium salts, magnesium salts, zinc salts, carbonate salts, and acetate salts. Now, we will discuss about most important topic, which is the pH of the salt solutions. As you know, that a salt is formed by the reaction of an acid and a base. We might expect the salt to be neutral in nature. Though the aqueous solutions of many salts are neutral, but some salts produce acidic or basic solutions when dissolved in water. The acidic nature and the basic nature of some salt solutions can be explained on the basis of hydrolysis of salts. Firstly, the salts of strong acids and strong bases give neutral with pH is equal to 7. For example, sodium chloride is formed from a strong acid, hydrochloric acid, and a strong base, sodium hydroxide. 
so they produce a neutral salt secondly the salts of strong acids and weak bases give acidic solution ph less than 7 let us understand this with the help of an example ammonium chloride it is formed by a strong acid hydrochloric acid and a weak base ammonium hydroxide and so the salt obtained is acidic in nature finally the salts of weak acids and strong bases give basic solutions or alkaline solutions for example sodium carbonate salt is formed from a weak acid carbonic acid and a strong base sodium hydroxide and so the salt obtained is basic in nature and friends do you know that is ordinary salt sodium chloride is an important raw material for the substances of our daily use for example one for the production of sodium hydroxide and chlorine the various uses of the three products resulting from this process are shown here this process is called the chlor alkali process two in the production of bleaching powder the electrolytic decomposition of sodium chloride produces chlorine gas which is used in the production of bleaching powder bleaching powder is used in the textile industry paper factory chemical industry and drinking water to get rid of bacteria three in the production of baking soda baking powder and washing soda so friends in this video we studied about salts